Hello and welcome to another Comp Wiz tutorial. I'm Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you how to save a signature or watermark as a new brush so you can actually uh, use it multiple times without making a new one, co cutting and pasting it each and every time. Uh, this will, uh, we will just uh, save the. Uh, watermark that we make as a GIMP brush and put it where it's supposed to be. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to click File, New, and I'm going to make the height only 100. And I'll just make it easy, 700. 700 by 100, just uh, so because it's a text. And I'm going to make mine my website, which is www.compwiztutorials.com dot webs dot com so that people know uh, that when I have this on the bottom comp with tutorials made it and I'm going to use a uh, uh, sans bold italics it just I think it looks good for what I'm doing I'm gonna make the 30 see if that works uh yeah that's fine um, if you want, you can, uh, uh, align it to the center. I don't know if that will really change anything. But, um, now since you've already done that, we'll need to do text to selection, or if you've, uh, discarded the text information, it would be alpha to selection. So, and then you're going to invert it, and press delete. But you have a background layer, so you will, don't want that, because you need your brush to be transparent so you can see behind it. So just delete your background layer and then go into select all and that will be your brush. But it's uh, as you've noticed it's not in our brush any of our brushes. So uh, we'll need to go into file save as and uh, save it in local disk C or on if you're on a Mac whatever uh, your hard drive is saved under and program files minus program files times 86 and find your GIMP 2.0 then go into share then GIMP then 2.0 then there are all of these that you can even change the images like the loading screen if you saw that at the start of the tutorial but we're gonna change the brushes so I'm gonna save this as uh, tutorial brush uh, and now then just uh, but we'll need to do not save it yet we'll need to click a file extension you can either type in GBR at the end of it dot GBR or just click GIMP brush now you just click save uh, you'll probably need to export it even though it's only one brush but uh, just uh, type in the description tutorial or whatever you want the spacing I don't really know what that does but I, I just leave it at the default and it works fine uh, that oh sorry I forgot um, the spacing is actually just uh, how many times if you hold down your click um, how many times it will make the picture uh, per like inch I think so now just close out a gimp and uh, reopen it right there there's my edited loading screen I might make a tutorial on how to make that uh, depending uh, so now you'll just need to either open your windows dockable dialogs uh, brushes which is right here or you can just click right here so I'm gonna look for the one I made I've made them before already so uh, complex tutorials right there uh, you, but I saved it as a different one for, here's the, here's the GIMP brush. Here we go. And that's right there. So now we'll just make a new, whatever, uh, I'm gonna make it big, or I'll just, actually I'll just make it the default. So I'm gonna close out of this because I can just open it with that. And there you have it. Uh, you can make it, uh, with the paintbrush tool or the pencil tool works better because it doesn't. Uh, change it like uh, make it less dark notice how some of these are less dark than the others 
because the pencil tool is just one and the paintbrush tool is uh, can do some transparencies around the sides notice uh, here's the transparencies on the side of the U but if we go up to the pencil tool there isn't it's a clean edge so I hope you like this tutorial you can use this on any of your images like if I wanted to use it on my um, green me uh, that I had for a tutorial I can put this down at the bottom uh, it's not big enough so I'm just gonna create a new layer and I'll just make it right there but it uh, you can just change the scale of it also so that people can actually see it uh, make it towards the bottom right and then people know it's yours so just save it and then people will know that this is your image and they might go to your website so thanks for watching this tutorial uh... this i think is our tenth tutorial with gimp and my website is <laughs> compwiztutorials.webs.com if you don't see that right here uh... thanks for watching please rate comments or subscribe and see you next time.